Here's a pro tip for these partial front ends. So partial front end means we're gonna cover to about here. We, we do have a full hood coverage, which is you know, a, a great idea. Uh, if you don't wanna see that seam, the, the seam or the material lens, it's, it's gonna be noticeable, but it's not gonna be super noticeable. So that just depends on, on how detailed or anal you are. Uh, on, a, on a truck like this, uh, this lower flat part, probably likelihood of getting a rock chip back here, not great, but this leading edge of the truck, leading edge of the truck, that's, that's where a lot of the impact's gonna happen. So you're looking, you're looking around, you're looking at uh, paint protection film installers. When you're getting a partial hood done, there's typically two different pattern options available. There's an 18 inch pattern and a 24 inch pattern. Typically what happens is, this is a 24 inch, 24 inch, right? So it's a 24 inch wide roll of material, which means if you select a 24 inch pattern, you can, it can cut off of this roll here. So that, that's what's gonna happen. So it's gonna be, or there's an 18 inch roll, which six inches narrower, which means a pattern is not gonna cover as much material. So when people say, hey, yeah, we're gonna do a partial, well, you know, how much of a partial are they gonna do? Typically try to run the 24 inch pattern all the time, unless for some reason, uh, I mean, I've had guys say, no, I, I want the 18 in, I want the smaller option. I don't want a lot of it, which I, I don't understand that, but hey, you're the customer, you're paying us to do that. In my mind, if you're gonna do a partial, do the 24 inch, ask your installer what pattern he's gonna use, what, ask him what roll width he's gonna use for that. Now, if you're watching along, and really, it's kind of a mute point with what we're doing, because I'm, I'm running everything off of a 60 inch wide roll, so I can put that 24 inch pattern into the 60 inch roll. So we're opening Core right now. Core is the software we use that has the database of all the computer cut PBF patterns. So uh, if we did a full front end, there would be the hood. It shows different options available to it. But let's go down to the partial. So the partial, so we talked about the 24 versus the 18. So it says hood, parentheses 24 inch. That means we're supposed to get a 24 inch roll. So well, let's open up and see what this is here. Um, and it is a sport appearance package. So we're always given the option of unwrapped versus wrapped. Just a little side note. I always select the wrapped version, as you'll see. So the sport has this cutouts right through here. And the wrapped has these little notches here. That means it's gonna wrap around the fender or not wrap around the hood. That means it's gonna wrap around the hood, those little notches. Unwrapped, that doesn't, that'll end right at the end of the body panel. So that's the 24 inch hood. And we're gonna add that. Our bolt size will be 24 inch. There we go. Uh, so you can see, so that we're changing the roll size here. So this is a 24 inch pattern. So if we change this down to an 18 inch roll, let's just go ahead and go to the cut board there. So right now it's red because you have an 18 inch wide roll. The pattern's obviously uh, wider from front to back. So once we change that to 24 inch, everything's happy. So let's, so now we're 24, let's go back to the vehicles. And let's pull up the 18 inch just so we can see for comparison's sake. So we're gonna take the 18 inch hood. So you can see, I mean, obviously it looks a little bit smaller, but let's pick a wrapped. Let's add that. Okay, so now we can go to the cut board. So you can see the 18 inch pattern, the coverage would end here on the back of the hood. But if we lay it, overlay it right there, you can see that it, it wouldn't go as far. Uh, the, so the 24 inch pattern is larger, has more coverage to it. And then just for comparison's sake, for grins and giggles, let's go back to the vehicle. Let's go grab the full hood, add, go to cut board. So we'd have to pull it at 60 inch wide if we did the full hood. So full hood, maximum coverage, cover everything on the hood. Then we can do 24 inch, so partial, so we're only covering partial of the hood, so it would stop there. And then the, the difference between, I think our shop and some other shops is some shops will, will sell a partial, but they won't tell you is it 24 inch or 18 inch. Full front end, full hood, partial on 24, partial on 18, the, the coverage diminishes. Hopefully that's a quick explanation as to what happens or why asking about what partial coverage you're getting. If I was trying to run the business and trying to run these jobs as cheap as possible, so you call up and say, hey man, your price is high, 
I'm going to go to the other shop, Bill. That, that's fine. That's cool. But just know that, you know, to, to get that lower price, you may be sacrificing something that they're not telling you. They're going to say, oh, yeah, we're going to give you a partial, partial front end, too. Oh, yeah, we're going to give you this film. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So there's all these edges here. And the pattern has the option to either wrap, which means roll this edge here. So this edge right here, you know, you'll see it. You'll, you'll see, you know, it'll get chipped right along there. So why wouldn't we want to roll that edge? Well, we want to roll, want to roll that edge because you know, it's going to take us a little extra time. We're going to have to wait for that to dry out and then come in and get under the, the rubber gasket here. I think it's a better install, so that's kind of the shop policy here. If we have the option to, to roll that edge in there, we will. Now you will see, I mean, you will see an exposed right here in the corner. That's just impossible to wrap that material around there. I'm sure somebody out there in the internet is going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, we can wrap that. Well, I haven't seen it happen, but God bless you. Go ahead, wrap that corner, watch it come up in three, four, five weeks. But, you know, we're going to wrap as much as we possibly can on it. That's the benefit of you using the patterns. Talking about PPF, one of the things that we like to talk about here is we use the patterns. We have the plotters. Plotters cost money, so we're going to use them. The reason we're gonna use them is I really don't believe in taking vehicles apart. I'm not a body man, this is not a body shop. Vehicles are coming to us in great condition, they're brand new, this Toyota's got 71 miles on it. This is 600 miles because he came up from Washington DC, he doesn't wanna drive it. Uh, talking to my wife last night, we were fortunate enough, she bought a brand new Mazda. You know, her thought was, hey, if, if I took one, if she said, it, she told me, you know, she took her car someplace and they took it apart, she would be pissed. So um, we're not gonna take my wife's car apart, that's not the point of the story here. The point of the story is we're not gonna take your vehicle apart we talk to you about it. I see no reason, I see no professional reason to take the vehicle apart. And typically the guys that are gonna sell you and taking the vehicle apart are gonna tell you it's custom, they're gonna tell you it's better, and they're gonna say that because they don't have a plotter. So if the guy's got a plotter and been doing it for 25 years, then yeah, maybe trust him. At that point, he's, he's probably good because he started doing PPF way before patterns are available, way before my time, so you know, talk to him. See his work, talk around, but we're using the patterns tonight. We're going to use the 24 inch. It's going to give maximum coverage on a partial. It's not ideal. I mean, it's not going to cover everything, but you know, given the geometry of a truck, less susceptible to getting chips on the back. The Toyota was in here today. We hashed it over. The Toyota being a lower, lower, lower profile vehicle, closer to the ground, a little more aerodynamic. Uh, it's it's down the ground. These trucks will be throwing rocks up. It's going to hit. You know. Murphy's Law says that guy's gonna get the partial on his Toyota. He's gonna drive out of here, drive home 50 miles, and pick a rock chip up, you know, two inches behind where the partial ends. So I can't spend the money for him. I can't make him make the decision, but, you know, we, we talked it over and, and, you know, his decision, their decision, and they decided to go with the partial. So, you know, talk to us. We'll, we'll help you, you know, we'll help you figure it out. I mean, you know, if it, if financially it doesn't make sense for you to, to do the full front end, I, I get it. I, I got budgets too, I'm running the business. You know, there's not an endless supply of money. So we're gonna help you make the right decision for you and for your vehicle. So that's the education tonight on partial 18 inch, 24 inch rolls and what we're really talking about here. So let's get back to work.